We believe that to better inhabit the Earth, we must transform our cities to make them places where we can breathe better. Of course, this means taking action on air quality and temperature. But it's also about changing our relationship with our environment. By exploring our cities differently, and taking the time to relax and enjoy nature. We spoke with some of the people who are making this transformation happen. The challenge for cities is the same challenge for humanity, the climate change. We need to reach the carbon neutrality at the horizon 2050. For that, it's uh, mandatory to reduce at least of 65% our CO2 emissions. We need to transform our cities in low carbon cities. The second challenge is to live in healthy cities. We need to transform cities, for example, with uh, this kind of uh, building, the Edison Lead, because this is the possibility to offer the urban social functions to cooperation between citizen dwellers and to uh, develop uh, the uh, activities in the proximity. Changing our cities to be more pleasant and breathable also means transforming our buildings. We spend 80% of our time there. Building materials are evolving to enable us to better lower the temperature, insulate, and clean up our homes. Breathing better means living in brighter, healthier homes with cleaner air and better controlled temperature. Buildings are therefore at the heart of our quality of life. And with growing urbanization, this issue will become even more important in the coming years. Saint-Gobain offers insulation solutions for the building envelope to improve the performance of glazing on walls, and thus better control the hygrothermal comfort of the building, both in winter and summer months. The group offers also solutions that have no impact on indoor air quality, limiting VOC emissions, but even active products which improve indoor air quality. The Placo Activer board from Placo Plâtre captures and eliminates formaldehyde, one of the main VOCs. On tomorrow, other solutions and technologies are being studied that will make it possible to broaden the range of VOCs, that could be removed from the interiors. Saint-Gobain is working on manufacturing processes to make them more respectful in the broadest sense of the term. No polluting emissions, less energy consuming processes, while limiting the impact on natural resources. Solutions already exist to allow us to breathe better in our homes and thus improve our quality of life. But it goes further than that. To be more pleasant, the city of tomorrow must also be designed to allow us to explore it easily, to reconnect with nature, and to get to the places where we live more quickly from our offices, schools, and leisure activities. To do so, we must reinvent our urbanization mode to make them more joyful and lively. The 15-minute city is a new challenge for living differently today in cities and to build the city of tomorrow. This concept is based on the mixing of the urban social functions for developing the livable districts. Today, it's very important to develop breathable cities, otherness, happiness, social participation, solidarity, ecology, in the proximity. To breathe better, trees are our allies. But how do we reintroduce them into our cities? How can we teach people to better love and protect them? In the United States, the Baltimore Tree Trust came up with a solution that gets communities involved for the long term. Clean air is not, uh, it's not a luxury. It's not something that some people deserve and others do not. And so the mission of the organization is to make sure that all Baltimoreans have access to clean air. The short-term goals of the Baltimore Tree Trust are to prioritize tree plantings in parts of the city where there are not currently a lot of trees. Um, and we already know that um, through U.S. Forest Service data where those neighborhoods are, thankfully, 
Um, and so we prioritize working with those communities to ensure um, that we can provide as many trees as possible to those communities. Um, and we do that through neighborhood scale plantings. And we try to ensure the sustainability of that program by offering opportunities for, um, for employment, for living wage jobs to people who, um, who need them the most. So we understand as a, as a scientific and academic community that mature trees have more benefits than young planted trees. And so it's very important to not only establish new trees across Baltimore City, but to make sure that they actually make it to an age long enough where they're providing all the benefits that, that trees can provide to us. I mean, replacing trees every five, 10 years undermines the whole process for why we're planting trees. And so um, taking care of trees and making sure that they can live a long, healthy life is just as important as establishing new trees. All over the world, solutions are coming to light to let us breathe better today and tomorrow. Our cities have begun their transformation to be less polluted, less dense, more plant-filled, and more pleasant, with one goal in mind, to make the world a more beautiful and sustainable place to live.